FXP, welcome to my videos on the ICOM 7300. M0 FXP, going to show you some CW settings on my ICOM 7300. So, first thing is, we're in LSB at the moment. Let's go into CW mode. So, just tap the screen here and we'll go CW. When you're in CW mode, settings that you can select have changed to suit CW. So, let's, uh, let's push the multi knob. The multi knob you have the rf power the key speed and the cw pitch we back out of that now we have the break in button here which is let's have a look normally is a vox button but it can be the break in button so we have break in and full break in so what's the difference well with break in when you transmit when you use your paddle to transmit cw it will go back into receive when you are using the paddle and you can change the settings of this by holding in the Vox break in button like so and you get the different uh, selection here the delay of 7.5 D at the moment but it adds a delay but now with full break in if you hold it I'm oh, sorry just push it full break in then as you key use your paddle you can use the top of the microphone uh, which we'll look at in a sec um, as you key it will just you know be in complete sync with your keying so when you're not keying it will be it will switch back to receive allowing you to hear other stations but otherwise we're just listening but if you're just listening to CW I would actually turn it off then you won't accidentally transmit Let's have a look at the menu. So we've got menu and then we've got Kia here. And you can actually record and send Morse. You've got an edit button here. Edit, you see? You can, I've created one here on M5. You can edit it if I like. And if I push it, push M5. There you go, that's pre-recorded. And if we turn on the break in and hit M5, it, it goes into transmit. We've got the tuner turned on as well here. So it tunes. It makes sense to sort of tune before you transmit. So if we push edit and this time go to CW key set, we've got the key type. Uh, at the bottom we've got it says mic up and down Kia and it's turned on obviously we can turn it off if we want so when it's cut turned on at the moment it's set to straight now what straight means is if I look at the microphone and just use the left top button we can just if you can hear that I've been trying to learn my call sign which is M0 FXB of course so it's I think that's F, X, and I think B is, anyway, I'm still learning. <laughs> so you can change that, see the straight, tap it, and you can put it as bug or paddle. Let's try paddle. When you hold down the left, you get the dashes, and the left, you get the dars. Now let's go back and see what the, the bug one does. You can change paddle polarity, rise time as well, side tones, side tone level, Kia repeat time, dot dash ratio, quite a few settings here, normal, key type, let's go to bug, I'm not actually sure what that does, so let's try it, so I think the thing that was different was when I hit the bug, I had a continual tone.
So okay, hope this helps you with your settings. Obviously you've got filter settings that you can use in this radio which are very good as well. Lots of built-in functions into this into this 7300. I'm just I'm really I'm learning myself. But I thought I'd make a video and show you that, that the CW functions that I've discovered so far. 7-3, thanks for watching, all the best.